Okay, great. Welcome to our webinar where we will discuss ways to develop adaptability in the workplace and embrace change, as stated in the topic of our webinar. Uh, we will also discuss the problems in the organization of work that employees face in uh, daily, uh, their daily work and talk about tools that uh, will help solve these problems. My name is Vitaly Safanyuk and I'm responsible for projects and products at CloudFresh. Today, uh, I have a modest role. I'm uh, the host of this webinar and I'm responsible for ensuring that you, dear guests, and our speakers enjoy this event and uh, that we all feel comfortable and interested. Now, let me introduce our speakers. Norbert Durko, Corporate and Enterprise Account Executive at Asana. Uh, Asana, as you know, is a leading platform for work management, uh, complete solution that uh, stands out for its versatility and uh, ease of use. Norbert will tell us about the challenges uh, at work faced by uh, employees around the world and uh, how to develop the ability to respond eff effectively to these challenges. I'm sure that uh, in order... <coughs> Sorry. I'm sure that uh, uh, in order to become successful, you need to constantly improve. So I will listen with interest uh, to Norbert's advice. Sure, it will be useful to me in my work. Uh, hi, Norbert. I'm glad to see you. Hi, Vitaly. And hi, everybody. Really great to see you. Can't wait to share a little bit more about this topic. Great. And the next speaker will be uh, Peter Brezani, uh, Chief Marketing Officer at Bilenka, the leader in innovation in baby wearing and barefoot shoe industry from Slovakia. Business with a great uh, story and mission. Peter will talk about his experience of work management building in his company. I'm really looking forward to this part of our webinar. It's also always uh, interesting to listen about real cases. Hello, Peter. I'm happy that you are with us today. And uh, in the last part of our webinar, uh, Leonti Kokin, Asana expert uh, at CloudFresh, will show us Asana solution demo. Uh, let's see uh, what work management experience can be. Leonti, always happy to work with you. Say hello to our guests. Hello, guys. Okay, uh, before we start, I uh, oh I, I need to show you next slide before we start. Yes, uh, I want you uh, I want to let you know that we have a special offer for you, dear guests. Uh, guests who send a request to our mail hi at cloudfresh.com or fill out the form via QR code, will receive a free consultation on the design of your business processes and projects from our Asana expert. I will put uh, this email in our chat and you can send uh, the request during the webinar. Also, uh, ask questions to our speakers in the chat and we will definitely answer them. And of course, we have some gifts uh, for most actively of you from our dear speakers. It seems that we uh, discussed all uh, organizational things. Now let's get to the point. But before giving the floor to our speakers, I want to tell you about our company. Only two minutes, not more. Uh, CloudFresh is international IT service company with years of experience and expertise in digital business transformation, trusted by over 1,000 customers in 40 countries. We partner with leading digital solution vendors in the market such as Google Cloud, Zendesk, Asana, and GitLab. We resell these products and provide a wide range of professional services around them, such as implementation, integration, development, support, education, audit, and consulting. Companies trust us and we justify this trust. Now, I want to give the floor to our first speaker, Norbert, with a presentation, six ways to develop adaptability in the workplace and 
embrace change. Norbert, please, uh, I guess you need to share your presentation and go through it. Thank yeah. you. Thanks very much, Vladi, for the introduction. I hope everybody's morning is go going really well. I'm very excited to share today about six ways to develop a visibility in the workplace and embrace change. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Perfect. Well, as, as the topic says, I'm going to focus on six ways on how we can basically become more adaptable and how we can embrace change better. And it's not as simple as just being more flexible. Adaptable people develop targeted skill sets, um, processes, and frameworks to allow them to quickly and efficiently deal with different kinds of situations as they arise. And becoming more adaptable at work helps you to respond to new situations, new roles, new projects, new initiatives, and new clients much faster and much better. And as you develop the skill set, you'll be able to face pretty much any challenge and any change that comes your way. Understanding what adaptability skills actually are and where they come from can help you to develop the needed skill set. The Center for Creative Leadership breaks adaptability skills down into three different categories, cognitive adaptability, emotional ad adaptability, as well as personality adaptability. Cognitive adaptability allows you to think through different potential scenarios and plan for different outcomes. Developing cognitive adaptability will not guarantee you make the right decision, but it helps you to structure your thoughts during the decision-making process. Emotional adaptability, it may sound cliche, but it's safe to say that just about every colleague works differently, thinks differently, and as a human, is different. Emotional adaptability skills help you to accept and acknowledge that. This skill set can actually help you connect with all types of personalities, even those that are very different from your own. And last but not least, having an adaptable personality allows you to uh, see both situation for what it is and what it can be. When facing a challenge, you're able to see a full picture. You can acknowledge imperfections while also seeing different kinds of opportunities. It's a combination of realism and optimism, helpful for responding to any situation. Adaptability comes really easily for some, but even if it doesn't come naturally to you, it's still something that you can develop. We'll take a look at six different ways you can build, you can use to build, refine, and also improve your adaptability skills um, through exercises and certain practice. We'll start from problem solving, which always helps us to resolve specific issues as they arise. This term can often feel ambiguous, but it's actually a concrete process comprised of four simple steps. Using a framework like the one above will help you better identify problems so you can strategically come up with a solution. Starting from identifying the problems that need to be solved, brainstorming on multiple solutions, defining the solutions, and finally implementing the solution. Plus, every time you use these problem-solving skills, you're making it easier to solve the next one, even if it's different. Over time, you will become more and more adaptable, and you'll be adaptable enough to solve any problem that comes up. Second thing, you've heard it before, but I'll say it again, you will always need to face change. Learning to embrace um, and look forward to change can actually make you become a more adaptable leader in person. Teach yourself to embrace any situation by taking more risks and accepting the results, whatever they are. Practice self-care during uh, particularly difficult changes and reach out for support when needed. Above all, be kind to yourself. Even as you learn to embrace it, change is never easy. For example, your team just got restructured. This is your third time having to adjust to new team members, new leaders, and new responsibilities. And now you're expected to learn new skills and adjust your, your work life all over again. Instead of feeling frustrated, try appreciating the benefits of this change. Maybe you are in a better position to move into leadership roles or get a promotion. Or maybe it's an opportunity to expand your network with uh, new people in your team. 
As you learn to embrace both um, large and small changes, you're actively building the muscle to be more adaptable whenever new challenges arise. Keep an open mind. We all have an idea of how we think uh, that things should go. This is very normal, and this is how our brains work in a sort of uh, shortcut. Um, while it can sometimes be beneficial, there are also times when thinking this way closes our minds to new opportunities or different ways to solving problems. That's because we're often so focused on what we think should happen that we don't even think and don't embrace what could happen. Being adaptable is about being willing to pivot, to explore something new. Exercising your brain can help you become more open-minded when you're faced with a new situation. Try these tips to develop an open mind. Ask higher level questions that go beyond the what to the more crucial whys of the situation. Practice active listening skills when you're learning something new. Withhold judgments until you have all information. This includes limiting beliefs about yourself or your capabilities. Try to think about current situation from every possible angle, stretching your mind to include all of the varying possibilities. Instead of holding on to resentment and different kind of assumptions, sit down with your colleague or your manager and try to understand their perspective as well. Um, Leaving your ego at the door. Your ego is your sense of self. If you follow a more philosophical viewpoint, it's not inherently bad or good. The ego just is, just exists. But because it's naturally self-centered, the ego is not always the most helpful communication tool for us. Stepping outside of yourself, removing the ego, allows you to see the other perspectives more clearly and embrace change. In short, Practicing leaving your ego out of the workplace builds on many other adaptability skills. The best way to do this? Well, take any situation that might normally be frustrating and pause. Take a deep breath. Ask yourself, can I let go of how you think things are supposed to go? And going one step further, learn to appreciate the result no matter the outcome. If you're able to accept and even celebrate a wide variety of outcomes, any small or large wins, you're setting an important precedent for yourself that anything is possible and that no matter what, you can adapt and move forward. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is, um, is, is an act of focusing on the present moment without trying to change anything about it. Instead of jumping in with solutions or ideas, Mindfulness allows you to take a step back and reflect on what's happening. This allows you to be more flexible and appreciate the moment, which makes you more open to change. In fact, mindfulness is so important to us here at Asana that we've made it one of our core company values. To implement mindfulness in your day-to-day, -day, try these steps to acknowledge your emotions and let go of them. Put less attention on the past and future. You can't change something once it happens, but you can accept it. Thinking about what could or should have happened likely will not help you, and it might even make things worse. Focus on what's happening now, at this moment, instead of leaning into situation as it is. This allows you to let go of things outside of your control and pay attention to those things you can actually change. Last but not least, it's very important to push yourself out of your comfort zone as often as possible. Most of us want to stay inside our comfort zone. It's natural. Our brain com likes comfortable experience, comfortable situations, and usually encourages us to seek them out. But if you only do things that you're comfortable with, you, will, you won't be as prepared when change just do inevitably come up. You can begin to expand your comfort zone with small little tweaks. Practicing um, placing yourself in a new and challenging situations where you have control over the outcome. It doesn't have to be jump, jumping out of an airplane. 
Simple things like just taking a new route to work can help you think more creatively and become more flexible. Most importantly, take action, one step at a time. And a good situation, for example, would be imagining you have an idea for a new project that your team could be working on. But typically, ideas come from your boss, not from you or your coworkers. Instead of waiting for the next idea from your manager, you could see it as an opportunity to push past your comfort zone. So make sure to pitch the idea to your manager. It doesn't matter if they um, don't move forward with the idea. The beauty of pushing yourself out of the comfort is that the outcome isn't important. It's the process that's the most helpful. So I hope all these tips can inspire you a little bit to try and think differently. And hopefully, um, the framework that we have developed here at Asana can also make you more adaptable and more flexible when it comes to the change that will inevitably come up. Vitali, I think over Thank you. Thank you, Norbert, for such useful advice and tips. Uh, in fact, you uh, touched on very relevant and important topics. Uh, on the one hand, uh, it's, it's very important to for every business uh, to constantly improve in order to be successful. But on the other hand, not all employees uh, understand the usefulness and uh, necessity of these changes. Therefore, it is important for management to qualitatively and transparently explain the value of uh, uh, the value and importance of uh, of these uh, changes uh, to the team firstly of course and uh, for um, to accept and implement these changes to overall success in the result since again uh, for this presentation asana has already helped to improve uh, the work management of more than 1000 uh, companies so 1000 yeah 1000 100,000 companies, yeah, uh, overall uh, the world. And uh, your advice is definitely worth listening to. And I know that you have a second chapter of your speech. I do indeed. So now that we focused on the ways to be more, you know, adaptable, more maybe easily uh, presentable, you know, in, in any kind of situation, we are now going to focus on a slightly different perspective of actually, you know, being at work and doing the work that matters. I'll focus on the true business value of Asana. One of the most important questions, I think, whenever any business is evaluating Asana for themselves. Um, there is a big gap between how much we are working and how much we actually are achieving. So across our anatomy of work research that Asana does every year, um, knowledge workers worldwide are finding that teams are working harder and harder, but uh, impact and achievement is actually lagging. There has always been a gap between the effort teams put into work and the impact that effort creates. But distributed work with uh, the beginning of COVID and when everybody started working remotely and now obviously in a hybrid setup has really brought up this issue to a head and teams are really paying the price. Today, according to Asana's research, uh, teams are missing 26% of the deadlines. This is despite the fact that all of the knowledge workers have added on average nearly two more hours to their workday every day over the last two years. And 71% of them experienced burnout, a leading cause for employee turnover and one of the key reasons why people leave their jobs. In the fast-paced world of business, which is increasingly distributed across different offices, home, co-working spaces, organizations really feel the impact of every aspect of an ineffective workflows in their jobs. But the biggest barriers to efficiency do have a common threat. They're fueled by a lack of clarity. This manifests in time lost in necessary meetings and um, admin tasks, poor communications overall, or lack of clear processes. And I've collected a few different examples from, one of, from, from major countries, such as Australia, France, Germany, to see what are the key aspects? What are the key barriers to efficiency by, by country? 
And we can see a really common thread here. All of them are really related to lack of efficiency, lack of communication in the business. So what is the solution? That's a natural question. Well, one of the solutions is work management. Work management platforms provide a systematic approach to orchestrating organizations' workflows. It can be a project, an ongoing process, a routine, tasks, to give teams the clarity um, they need in order to hit their goals faster. These tools are about coordinating people and work across all different levels of organization to ensure that everyone has the information they need to accomplish what work matters the most. People sometimes conflate work management with project management, but they actually are different. Work management is a broader system encapsulating projects, planning, and processes. Essentially, project management and associated methodologies like Agile or Waterfall also sit within work management, but they're just one branch of the overall system. Organizations that adopt work management platforms find it transformational. Globally, teams see that their teams working, um, teams are working more efficiently together. Meanwhile, monotonous, low-impact work, like, for example, constantly checking never-ending um, email inbox, decreases with 70%, 71% people saying that less time is spent on going back and forth on email. After the first 30 days, so just after a month of using a work management platform, users are likely to see an increase of their own productivity, their team's productivity, as well as the entire business's productivity. These benefits keep growing. On average, 29% of users say that work management platforms help them save costs in the long run. But this rises to 37% of those who have used um, a work management platform for a longer time, for example, five years or more. So the next question is, what is the true business value? What can businesses get out of actually implementing a tool like Asana? Our differentiation focus on adoption, cross teamwork and organization-wide clarity brings real business value for our customers. This was made evident in IDC's 2021 Business Value Report of Asana. Let's have a look at um, return on investment potential. Uh, IDC findings uh, from the report suggest that, on average, teams spend 38% less on administrative tasks, such as email, searching for information, switching between different apps, and so on. With more time uh, for the work that actually matters, for the strategic work, teams are 42% faster to execute business processes, saving almost two hours per week daily um, while using Asana. Teams also complete more projects on time with Asana, as evidenced by a 34% improvement in on-time project completion. And most importantly, when employees feel accomplished, their engagement and happiness level increases significantly. So according to IDC, Asana raises employee satisfaction for surveyed employees by 72%. Think about this in terms of employee retention and all the people that will stay in your company because it is significantly efficient and just a more, just a nicer place to work at. And um, the most inspiring finding, however, concerns the overall return on investment. The surveyed clients needed an average of only six months to break the investment, thanks to the increase in efficiency. And over three years, they had an incredible 437% return on investment for Asana. If these numbers inspired you to learn more about the true value, I invite you to download um, the full report by IDC on true business value. Feel free to scan the QR code here. And you'll be able to download a full copy of the report that goes into a lot more details than just covered here. But I hope some of these metrics inspired you to think about implementing a work management platform in your business as well, if you haven't done so already. Over to you, Vitaly. Thank you, Norbert. 
I fully share uh, the business values you mentioned, and I al always find it uh, very interesting to reach uh, to read uh, such uh, analytics, which you uh, preparing every year. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, how do you work with uh, the results of such re uh, researches in Asana, which you provide it every year? Perhaps this data helps you form a product roadmap or something else. Absolutely. I think it um, it really helps us to understand what the real problems are, first of all. I guess whenever we are talking with the businesses, nothing is more important than trying to understand what issues they're facing at the moment and how we can address those issues. I would say that is the most important angle. It's very important for us to be up to date with everything that's happening in the world, everything that's you know important to um, Asana's users and also potential Asana's users. Great approach. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nor Norbert. Uh, OK, uh, guys, one more time. Thank you, Norbert, for such uh, inspired presentation and useful uh, presentations. Uh, let's move on. I would like uh, to give uh, the floor to our next speaker, Peter. Peter, please uh, tell us about your company and your case. Hello, everybody. Um, can I share the presentation? Okay. Hello, this is Peter. Thank you for having me as a part of this presentation. I'm currently working as a CMO and I'm also uh, in a charge of IT and e-commerce at Bilanka, the industry leader in the baby wearing equipment and the barefoot footwear. And recently launched Burberry sneakers are a part of our barefoot portfolio. I used to work as a product director for the largest real estate portal in Slovakia, Nehnutelnosti uh, SK and have also managed several other online projects through my career. Uh, now let's take a quick look at what Bilanka is all about. Bilanka was established in uh, 2017 by expert Olympian Lenka Cenigova and Juraj Tehervari in uh, Slovakia. In the beginning, we only produced baby wearing products and started making barefoot shoes after a year after. And during its short five years of existence, we have received several business accolades like Ernst and Young, Emerging Entrepreneur of the Year and in 2019, uh, and Young Innovative Entrepreneurs in 2022, and other local awards. So we are a proudly European-based company. Our products are handmade exclusively from premium quality materials, by the use of eco-friendly packaging and making long-lasting uh, products, uh, we can reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, here is our experience using project management tools. So this the pre-Asana situation we used to several project management software, but we are looking for something more user-friendly and uh, comprehensive. Uh, key challenges, finding software with better workflow tracking features that show which tasks I need to action and which tasks were assigned by me for others, and how to mark the tasks according to their status as complete or ongoing. Uh, we found exactly what we were looking for in Asana. So here is how our team's departments are structured. In Vilenka, and there are many interdepartmental projects that we work on simultaneously, and that's where Asana has helped immensely. Here are the pros and cons of using Asana for a month from our perspective. We start uh, only in the beginning of the of this year. It's for us, it's comprehensive, user friendly, reasonable pricing, easy reporting, 
various workflow perspectives and uh, be facing only with uh, some payments uh, limitation. And last but not least, CloudFresh has been instrumental in smoothly incorporating the Asana system in Bilanka by providing excellent training for employees to get them started offering local support when needed and providing better pricing options. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, attention. I hope it uh, was, uh, was uh, good. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for your story. You uh, you started works with Asana only a few months ago, but you uh, already have results, and I believe uh, in 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 the next period you will have more and more uh, benefits from asana and uh, you and your company do an excellent job i wish you success and large number of customers uh, peter uh, i have a question for you uh, previously norbert talked about uh, how to develop adaptability in the workplace and embrace changes mm -hmm. how was it for you how did the team adopt the new tool, in our case, Asana, and how quickly did they evaluate its uh, effectiveness? Uh, it was really fast because we have, uh, uh, before many, many uh, project softwares before, and uh, the maybe the, the value of uh, project management software uh, from from our team was uh, uh, needed like uh, my teams uh, work with uh, uh, with uh, maybe seven other softwares and we try to find the best for for all and uh, it was not so it was not for like from from beginning because uh, they have uh, experience they have experience from from others it was really fast or, or one one week we changed some some uh, projects and some tasks and we begin really fast they, they were ready it's, it's cool yeah we're it's great. ready really fast thank you thank you peter okay colleagues uh, i propose to move on the final stage of our webinar uh, asana demo session from my colleague leonti as I know, in this demo, Leonti wants to highlight a few important Asana features. But let's see. Leonti, please, your turn. Yes, hello to everyone. Guys, thank you very much for uh, this information. It's like essential information for us and for other people because use cases, philosophy of Asana, it's like uh, incredible information. And thank you very much for sharing it. So uh, guys, uh, we are going to uh, see one second please only one my slide so uh, we are going to see two very important parts of asana its portfolio and goals which could help you stay flexible updated and uh, adaptable so uh, let's begin with uh, portfolios portfolios is a part of asana which provides a holistic view of all your important projects in one place this tool is the best way to organize monitor and report on multiple projects in one place we can add our projects on portfolio based on various factors for example let's switch to give me just a second let's switch to my asana mm -hmm. here it is so i created a special folder and uh, uh, its name it's uh, advertising campaign for our partners let's go here <clears throat> Here I added uh, different advertising campaigns uh, for our different partners and what we can see in this portfolio. So uh, first of all, the number and uh, the list of our different projects. Uh, 
Also, we can see additional information. For example, on this uh, project, we have some overdue tasks, which is not very good. Then we can see the statuses. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have six on track and uh, three at risk. Hmm. Also, uh, we can track our task progress. Uh, it's automatically Asana tracks uh, incompleted and completed tasks. And uh, for uh, waterfall <clears throat> projects, it's quite good. Uh, however, if you use uh, agile methodology, so you can use uh, another our tool. It's called it called my, uh, milestones. Milestones is a special type of task which we use to track major progress points that must be reached to achieve success in a project. So uh, let's switch it to the task back. Also, you can create a lot of custom fields. So for example, we create the custom fields for the date, priority, stakeholders, budget, owners. To create the custom fields, only click on customize, add field, and boom, you created a special custom field for you. For better understanding, you can sort all this data. For example, you can sort it by custom fields. For example, we can just sort it by owners and see who own each project. And uh, we can sort, for example, for statuses and see where, uh, where we uh, have to be more attentive and uh, where we can just see that everything is okay. Then move to timeline. Let's change the view. So uh, now at the timeline, you can check how many time it uh, takes to achieve uh, or to complete uh, some projects. Also, we can track our activity by milestones. For example, here we have red milestones. It means some delays. Let's go and check it. So we have a milestone of first week and we can go right to the project. Boom, we add the project and we see that we have three tasks which in delay. It is not a very good situation. We can add some comments here, we can tag some people here, and after this, we can just go back to our advertising campaign portfolio and continue working. So next will be progress. Progress uh, helps you and shows the statuses of whole project. And also it could help and uh, show you the whole status of the whole portfolio. So for example, here we uh, have uh, upgraded statuses on February the 2nd and the previous upgrade, upgrade was on January 24th. Then we are moving to workload. Workload <coughs> is a, uh, one of the most useful tools in Asana portfolios. The workload page allows you to help and support your colleagues. Uh, and this page shows uh, the workload of each participant in the portfolio. And you can even influence their workload. Let's see how it works. For example, Amy Love uh, has a red heel on Friday. Let's check it. So he has more than eight hours of work for Friday, not the bad situation. So uh, we can see additional information. Uh, Amy is a participator of four different projects. By clicking here, we can see additional information. So one, two, three, four different tasks. How can we help Amy? So first of all, we can go to the task and see estimated time. It's around five hours. The easiest way is to change this time. For example, let it be only four hours. However, uh, changing estimated time, not the best solution. So what else we can prepare for, for Amy? We can just move this task to other days. For example, we have the 7th and the 8th of uh, February, and there is no, uh, not many tasks for these days. Let's move it. So here it is. Now Amy has only six hours on Friday, and I think it's the best number of hours to work on Friday. So uh, basically, what else can we prepare? We can see uh, that Amy is a designer. So also we see Chris, Chris as well designer. So if this task is essential for us, we can just move this task from Amy to Chris. For example, as you can see, Chris has only four hours of work for Friday. So let's just 
move this task back on the second and the third, and uh, change the assignment. And that's all. Now Amy has not so much time to spend on work on Friday, and Chris has the same time. So basically, I want to draw your attention to uh, some news which uh, is very important for us and for you as well, because Asana uh, <coughs> added two new custom fields which uh, helped us to create this workload. First custom field is estimated time, and the second custom field is actual time. So it's like time tracking. You can use uh, actual time tracker like this in each task, or you can just add some additional information here. So uh, in conclusion, portfolio is the best way to organize your projects to track their progress in one place. Next, I'm going to share with you uh, goals. Give me just a second. Perfect. So goals uh, can help to connect your work with its purpose. It keeps your company and teams aligned, engaged, and agile. Each team member can see how their work can affect the achievement of the global goals and the whole company. So basically, we can create uh, company goals, we can create team goals, and we also can create a personal goals. So uh, let's see how we created uh, this goal. So uh, basically, we used OKR methodology to create this goal, win customer loyalty. We have a huge goal, big, win customer loyalty. It's like objection. Uh, objective, and we also have some key results we, which we have to achieve. It's, it could be win three projects in time or grow the number of the client's projects from 10 to 100. What is the best in this tool is that you can create fully automatically goals. For example, how it works. We go to win three projects in time and see that we uh, added three different projects to this uh, task uh, to this goal, sorry. And uh, as you can see, uh, they have different uh, percentage of uh, completed tasks. So uh, ba uh, based on this percentage, we uh, have the total percentage of the sub goal. Also, you can uh, you see goal owners, you see uh, time period for these goals, and you can add some descriptions or sub goals to this goal. However, if you need some more flexibility, you can use a manual type of goals, how it looks like. So basically we have a, a special sub goal, grow the number of the client's projects from 10 to 100. We have a special description where we described uh, what is uh, what for us means uh, to achieve this goal, to maybe partially achieve this goal or just missed. How it works, we just go to this goal and uh, let's imagine now we have 50 projects and uh, I imagined that we have 60 projects. So we just placed here 60, saves, and here it is. We have 60% of uh, these goals. Let's go back. So, and as a result, the total uh, percentage of achievement this goal is grown. So uh, in a small conclusion for goals, it's the tool for teams to understand where we are going and what we are planning to achieve. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Leonti. Thank you for the demo. Uh, I really like portfolios. I use them very actively in my work. And uh, thank you for mentioning time tracking a feature that we all have been waiting for. Uh, and Asana released it uh, a month ago. <laughs> Dear guests, let me share uh, my screen one more time. OK. Uh, I want you. I want to remind you uh, once again that we can conduct a free consultation for you and help you set up uh, 
for your processes and projects please email us and uh, now let's look to to our chat if we have some question maybe from uh, from our guests um, uh, and i want to say a special thanks to polina who supported us with comments during the webinar thank you very much we have uh, only one question for now from bogdan and question to peter uh, peter you have mentioned that your team was quite experienced in pm tools before right so what was wrong with them or why you were looking for a solution like asana uh, thank you for question uh our bigger problem was uh, tracking the which task were assigned by me like person who made a task and uh, see uh, how is working others like manager me like manager i create maybe 20 tasks and i move assign it to another people and uh, then i was lost because there were many projects many tasks and uh, I have no clue where I am. And in Asana, it's better option to mark uh, all these tasks and uh, better to uh, check uh, the status and people, uh, what they do. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for your answer. Uh, we have one more question from Pavel. Are there, are there any direct features responsible for increasing adaptability i guess a lot of asana uh, features responsible for this part uh, but uh, norbert maybe you can uh, comment yeah i want to uh, mirror what you just said i think um, the whole idea of implementing asana and then using all the features are basically helping to be more adaptable especially um, in these challenging times both economically and in many other reasons, in many other ways, just making sure that you're always on top of your things, making sure that you have you know, the most efficient workflows possible, the most efficient processes possible, just really being able to answer one question, who is doing what by when, will already help you to be a lot more adaptable, a lot more efficient in the way you work. and. What I see from my personal experience, obviously working with so many different companies from various different industries, is that when they have Asana in place, they become more adaptable, not only on the individual level, but as an entire organization. So I would say it's um, all of those features are somehow linked to becoming more adaptable in the end. Thank you, Norbert. Totally agree with you. Uh, we also see uh, with our customers that uh, As Asana could be uh, one uh, source of truth in company and uh, all work, all, comp uh, all processes uh, and all tasks are coordinated there. And it's really useful and uh, make more transparent all work process. Uh, next question from Kate. Can I use Asana with other apps? Does lots of it support lots of integrations? For example, if we want to use Slack or Teams together with Asana, is it possible? Of course, it's possible. Maybe Leonti, you can answer on this question. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, Asana has uh, more than 200 uh, integrations. Also, uh, Asana has very good API. So we can uh, make friends uh, with Asana, each tool which uh, allow this um, technical opportunities. So uh, basically, if we are talking about Slack, uh, we have uh, in-house integration in Asana with Slack. So you can easily integrate these tools between uh, each other. Thank you, Leonti. Yeah, Asana has uh, a lot of integrations and uh, in every day uh, add more and more integrations. And we have one more comment from Polina. Polina, thank you for your support. Really, we really appreciate it. Uh, and very nice comment. Uh, Polina loves 
the goals features yeah it's true R really um, good features and uh, asana uh, almost every month release new uh, new improvements to uh, to goals uh, functionality next question from pavel how i can set up a collaboration of different departments it's dependent on your processes asana has functionality like uh, uh, multi comment of task automation <clears throat> rule automation workflow automation and you can uh, create dependencies and links between different pro projects and process and union then to portfolio etc it depends on your pro uh, on your processes and we can discuss this, uh, discuss it offline if you email us and we uh, can provide some customize uh, design session for you to answer for all this uh, all these uh, questions and challenges which you have because it's very individually for every business because every business has some uh, some different processes in different departments functions etc um, question from Polina I guess Asana orchestrates so things as per client needs no of course Polina you're right uh, Asana is a huge constructor we have uh, we can uh, build uh, any process any project any workflow what we need if you don't mind Vitaly I can add of course I, of course I, not I, I personally like to think of Asana as you know different Lego blocks that you have and then when you start working with Asana, you basically decide yourself which blocks you want to use and what you want to build. Just because there are just so many different ways to you know, execute different projects, execute different workflows and processes, you can completely you know, adapt it to your needs. Or you can also you know, use hundreds of different templates we already have built in. Um, some of them actually come from Fortune 500 companies that we already have basically collaborated with and that also co-developed specific templates or workflows with Sana. So it really depends whether you know you want to sort of be on your own, be your own master and do it yourself, or you can always seek inspiration or as an alternative, um, work together with Cloudfresh to make sure that you get all the right support when implementing a tool like Asana. Thank you, thank you, Norbert. Um, really, we can we can uh, help uh, help you to build your processes in Asana, to design your processes, and uh, we have a lot of advices for you. I believe uh, because uh, we have uh, huge expertise to uh, design and consult customers with work management, with project and process management also. Please let, um, let us know and we will help you. Uh, okay, colleagues, guests, we uh, don't have uh, questions anymore. Uh, I guess we should choose, you should choose, dear speakers, our winners who will get uh, gifts from, uh, from you. Please choose. Norbert, maybe we can start from you. Who is your favorite? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was just reading through the comment section and I think uh, Polina made so many incredible yeah. points, especially about the, the first part about adaptability. Um, you know, so many great ideas added to what I mentioned. So yeah, I, I think uh, Polina is the one for me. Yeah, great, great. I, I support your choice. I totally support your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, in our winner. And Peter, from your point of view, who is winner? For me, was there only one question? Then uh, Bogdan <laughs> Kubenko could be the winner of uh, Barefoot Shoes. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Bogdan and Polina, we, ha we, have, uh, we have our winners. Uh, please, Bogdan Polina, um, waiting for for email from us to clarify uh, 
details uh, address details where uh, where we can uh, uh, sell your gifts thank you thank you colleagues oh bogdan <laughs> already put it aside uh, thank you thank you colleagues thank you speakers thank you dear guests it was a pleasure to uh, to see you and talk with you i wish you all the best and of course uh, great uh, great friday today friday no thursday sorry sure. <laughs> so. yeah i wish you a great thursday have a great day keep in touch